Hello, and welcome to Tally. You're about to see the fastest way for companies to process their expense reports. From field employees who have their expense report process automated for them, to the accountants who have their expense report process integrated right into their accounting system, Tally will save companies at least two-thirds of the time it traditionally takes to get these through the system. Well, I'll show you today, in just the next couple minutes, exactly how this works. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to sign in as an end user. His name is Joe Montana. Joe's a person who's out in the field incurring expenses on a frequent basis. Joe will sign in and Joe will immediately be greeted by a simple, easy to use <clears throat> product that doesn't even look like accounting software. What Joe would normally be doing is taking pictures of his receipts out in the field using his mobile phone. Those would go straight into Tally and Tally will read them. For purposes of this demo, I'll just use our drag and drop feature. I'll come out and take a look at a couple of the receipts we have here. Sotomari, Starbucks, let's even grab this, actually let's do Sotomari and Apple. Grab those, drop them right in. Tally will get those receipts, process them, and read right from them the merchant, the date, and the amount. When it's done, it'll actually even code the expenses based on learning algorithms that take into account the merchant and the company's chart of accounts. So Tamare is a restaurant. We can take a look at the full image here. And we'll see that the system coded it as entertainment automatically after reading the merchant, the date, and the amount. The end user can go ahead and code it. I'll put this to Acme Project, and let's say this is for marketing. And we'll go ahead and save this. Same thing can happen here. Uh, Apple Store, we read the receipt. And we are also noting that this is, looks like a potential duplicate. I'll click on that. And we'll see that I've used this receipt before. It notices that we have this unsubmitted version, we already exported one. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose to keep both just in case. So <clears throat> real easy to get the data in using receipts. In addition, Tally can go ahead and pull amounts directly from any credit card in your wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Import Credit Card Expenses. I'll pick a Charles Schwab Bank. And I'm going to go ahead and pick an Amazon purchase I just made. We'll go ahead and pull that in. You'll see it comes right in. It says Amazon with the date and the amount, and also showing that we coded it automatically to miscellaneous expenses. Pretty typical for a $30 purchase from Amazon. It's also showing it's out of policy. So the end user knows right at this point that this doesn't conform to company policy can make the appropriate adjustments. In this case, it's saying that this account requires a receipt on all expenses that exceed $1. No problem. We would normally add that. For purposes of this demo, we'll go ahead and keep on moving though. I'm going to go ahead and start a report for these three expenses. And it's going to show us we're going to, we can submit this report to Chris Farrell. That's perfect. I'll go ahead and click on Submit Report, and we'll move on. The next step we would see in the process is we need to go through the approval loop. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and log out of Joe Montana's account here. And we're going to log in as an administrator. While we're doing that, <clears throat> we'll come back over here to our email. What we're going to see is that Tally has sent an email reminder to Chris Farrell saying that there are new expenses for Joe Montana. That's perfect. We can also come in here and see that the Apple Store, Sotomari, and Amazon amounts are here. And we can check any kind of receipts we want to. For example, I can click on Apple Store here and we'll see the receipt, what exactly we bought. That's perfect. I'll go ahead and get out of that. And this looks good. So you know what? We're just going to go ahead and approve this directly from email. It's that simple for management to get through it. So the next thing we'll do is I'm going to go over here and we're going to log in as an administrator. <clears throat> the administrator will log in, and in this case we'll go straight to our export page. This is where the administrator can review all the expenses from everybody who has submitted them. In this case we have expense report number 40, new expenses for Joe Montana on December the 5th. I'll go ahead and click on this. We can take a look at all the information here. Um, as an administrator, you know what? I want to add for the Apple Store. I want to add the project it was for. I'll pick Acme again, and I'll pick GNA. I'm going to add reasons. This is Apple hardware for the accounting department. Okay, go ahead and put that right in, save it. So accountants have total control over the process, and when they like what they see, they'll go ahead and click on export. At this point, we'll start to send the information directly to the bill payment system. In this case, we're using bill.com, the largest bill payment provider in the United States. While we're doing that, I'm going to go over here and log into bill.com. So here we are. In bill.com, we can go to the payable section. I'm going to click on bills. What we're going to notice is tally 40 is already here. 
We just imported this a second ago. Our servers talk directly to build.com servers safely and securely. What we'll do is I'm going to click on this to get a closer look. Right here we'll see the Apple receipt we just saw and all the supporting documentation we would expect is all here right within build.com system. Perfect for audit. Next thing we'll do is we're going to take a look at the summary data. In this case we're paying Joe Montana for invoice tally number 40 and all the amount information is right here. In fact, there's even more than just the basics. We have the account coding, we have the description, Apple Store, Apple Hardware for, etc. We have the department and the customer all contained directly in Bill.com already. No work is required at all on the part of the accountant really. Just review and click. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and pay this bill. I'll go here, here, here to pay. I'm going to select to pay via Intact. And Intact is a cloud-based accounting software package. I'll click on Next. <coughs> and go ahead and save this. Perfect. We just paid it there. While we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and quickly sync with my Intact database. <clears throat> there we go. And I'm going to sign into Intact. So Intact is a full-blown, small to medium enterprise accounting system. We also work with other accounting systems such as QuickBooks, Xero, and NetSuite. I'll go ahead and sign in. Within Intact, we can go to the accounts payable side. We'll go to bills and we'll take a look here. <clears throat> Tally number 40 is here. We'll go ahead and click on view and from this vantage point we can see the vendor, we can see the amount and the date, etc. all here already. Everything we just did, office supplies, travel entertainment, miscellaneous expenses, and all the amounts with all the memos, the departments, and the customer information is sitting here in the ERP. For those of you who have been through an audit and know how accountants work, it gets even better. Not only is all the critical information here, but also the systems are tied together. If I choose to view this transaction detail in bill.com, I simply click this. It'll take us over to bill.com, whereby all the details are present, and the supporting documentation that an auditor will be looking for will be right here. There's no filing. There's no routing that has to happen. Nobody's sticking receipts to a piece of paper. There's barely any data entry whatsoever. And we've been able to not only get all the data in, but to get it approved, to get it through bill payment, and get it into the accounting system all within a couple of clicks. It's literally that easy. This system will save companies at least two-thirds of the time processing, and that's the tally story. Hope you like it.